Keep your heads lifted up, beautiful family in Jesus Christ. Our redemption draweth near. And his signs are screaming rapture. So let's get it started with the verse of the day. And it's John 13, 34. A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another, as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. And all glory to the Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. For John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And all glory to our Father and praise and honor and credit and recognition for all of the word. And let's all keep thanking Jesus Christ for dying for our sins so we can spend eternity with him. And let's all keep following him because that's what we are, followers of Jesus Christ. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier for Jesus Christ. And the watch is hard, it's difficult, it's tough. But he told us to watch and he told us where the signs would be in the sun, the moon and the stars. And they are. So let's walk through them together right now. All glory to our Father God. And as you can see right here, three and perhaps four CMEs are headed for Earth following a series of explosions on the sun this week. And the last big one was almost an X-class solar flare from sunspot 3500. It erupted on November 28th. And that one is catching up to the other ones and it is creating a cannibal. CME that's coming and headed for the planet. They're saying it will strike the planet on December 1st, tomorrow. So expect big earthquakes and amazing auroras like this one. And the one right underneath that that is incredible and beautiful. All glory to our Father. Because the heavens declare the glory of God. And the firmament sheweth his handiwork. And the signs are in the sun. And as you can see right there, the big sunspots. 3,500 is what ripped off this 9.8 solar flare. And on the left, you can see sunspot 3,507 just popped up. Well, here's what's gigantinormous about that. Because Strong's Greek 3,507 is nephele. Definition, a cloud. And I've been tracking nephele for a long time. And here's why. Because Nephele is the cloud in which God is said to have gone before the Israelites on their march through the wilderness. And here's what's so gigantinormous about it. Because tomorrow's December and on the new moon on December 12th, 1212, Nephele is right with Swassman Watchman, which means water watchman. Nephele, the cloud, is right where end date will be. On the 23rd of December, right where the Bethlehem star was three years ago. And I just recently went over it and it's right there. Jupiter and Saturn were right there on the 23rd in 2020, the Bethlehem star. And end date will be right there next month, December 23rd, right where the Bethlehem star was. Right where Nephele is on the new moon. And that new moon is at 2332. And in Strong's, the definition is the first woman, Eve. And our father, all glory to him, is a God of anniversaries. And remember, Jesus Christ died for our sin on Passover. On the anniversary of the original Passover when they put blood over the doorways. He's a God of anniversaries. That's why the temple was destroyed both times on the 9th of Av. And again, this year, December 23rd, end date will be right where the Bethlehem star was three years ago. And I showed you, December 23rd is the anniversary of the siege of Jerusalem. Ezekiel chapter 24, verse 1, again in the ninth year, in the 10th month, in the 10th day of the month, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, and as you can see right there, month 10 on the Torah calendar, the fast of month 10 on day 10 is the anniversary of the siege of Jerusalem, December 23rd, in the 10th month, in the 10th day of the month, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, son of man, write thee the name of the day, even of this same day, the king of Babylon set himself against Jerusalem this same day. And I don't set rapture dates. 
My job is to show you the signs on the days that they happen. And obviously, it's a high possibility that Jerusalem will be attacked again on the anniversary of the siege of Jerusalem. And as you can see right here, his signs just keep getting bigger and bigger. And as you can see, feast is right next to the full moon. And I've been telling you on December 27th, the full moon is at 33 UTC time. And in Strong's, the transliteration is age. 33, the age that Jesus was crucified for our sin. And the definition of 33 in Strong's is come, come now. The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament sheweth his handiwork. And Psalms 8, 3 is, When I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which thou hast ordained. Psalms 148, 3, Praise ye him, sun and moon. Praise him, all ye stars of light. And Strong's 36, 77, the definition is full moon. And when you scroll down, there's only two occurrences. And we'll start with Proverbs 7.20. And ESV is, he took a bag of money with him. At full moon, he will come home. And KJV is, he hath taken a bag of money with him and will come home at the day appointed. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Psalm 81.3, ESV. Blow the trumpet in the new moon and the full moon on our feast day. KJV, blow up the trumpet in the new moon in the time appointed on our solemn feast day. Well, here's where it gets beautiful and gigantinormous and exciting. Because when you go to the original Hebrew text, Psalm 81, 3, blow you in the new moon, trumpet in the full moon, today of celebration of us. So as you can see, the English Standard Version is more accurate with the original Hebrew text. And you already know they blow the trumpet when they confirm the new moon. And now you know that the original Hebrew text says to blow the trumpet in the full moon also. Blow you in new moon, trumpet in full moon, today of celebration of us. And again, as you can see right there, the next full moon is in the twins with feast. And feast was not with the full moon this month. And I'll walk you through that right now because it's gigantinormous. Because right now, as I'm doing the video, you can see that the moon is with feast right now in the twins. And as you go through the days, you could see the moon leaving and it comes back around every 28 days. And you can see that Feast is leaving the twins. But as we approach the full moon next month, that is on the 26th, our time, and on the 27th, universal time, I'll show you our time on the West Coast will be 16.33, which is 4.33 p.m., right there is the UTC full moon at 33, which is 4.33 p.m. on the West Coast, 7.33 p.m. on the East Coast, on the 26th, the day after Christmas. This is extremely gigantinormous, but it gets bigger because when you go through the hours, you can see that the full moon goes right by feast right to the 27th, and right into the twins. But it gets way bigger, because during that full moon, Behonik is right there above the moon too, right next to Feast. And Behonik literally means lift your head. And Jesus Christ said, when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, lift up your head, your redemption draweth near. And Israel is surrounded by armies right now and at war. Day 55. And I told you, I showed you, on the last day of Hanukkah, it will be the 70th day of the war if we're still here. And the 80th day will be on Christmas. 
So be honic. Your redemption draweth near. Lift your head. Because Jesus Christ is coming to get us the king. And king is right above their heads. And he's coming to get his arosa. Arosa means beautiful bride. He's coming to get his beautiful bride, family. He's coming to get us. And meva us. Meva means welcome. He's coming to welcome us. And that will be our Nestor. Nestor means homecoming and biblical miracle. He's coming to take us home. And we will be changed in the twinkle of an eye and raptured. And that's a biblical miracle. That is a Kim. A Kim means established by God. Our homecoming, the biblical miracle, established by God. And then shall appear the Fu. Fu means sign. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And they shall see the sign of the Son of Man coming in the Nephiles of heaven with power and great glory. The Terry with an E. And Terry with an E means harvester. And green is there. And all year he's been telling me green means go. And the new green deal, the peace covenant, is all wrapped up in this. He went to prepare a place for us and he's coming back to get us. The Obidius, the owner of the sheep that he bought with his blood. Obidius means owner of the sheep. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. And thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And Niber is right there in the twins. And Niber means neighbor. Love your neighbor as thyself. And Voitech is right there. And it is composed of two parts. Voi, meaning troops and warrior. And Tech, meaning consolator and rejoicing man. And I showed you in a previous video that Hedwig is right there. And Hedwig means battle, combat, war. And when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, lift your head up, your redemption draweth near. So keep your heads lifted up. Because he's coming to get us. And we'll be changed in the twinkle of an eye. And Ingals is there. And Ingals means angel. And Jesus Christ said when we're changed, we'll be like the angels of God in heaven. And every day is high watch. But if we're still here on the new moon on 12-12, that means Eve. If we're still here, I'll be expecting him any second. And he could come during Hanukkah or he could come today. We can't limit God. But he told us to watch and he told us where the signs would be. And the biggest signs that we've ever seen around Christmas time are completely stacked and pointing to the full moon at 33 UTC time, his age when he was crucified. And 33 in Strong's means come, come now. And remember, Christina had this dream and she was pregnant and God showed her a calendar and he showed her her due date. It was December 19th on the calendar. It was circled and it said that that was her due date. And from December 19th to December 26th, when the full moon happens on the 26th in our time zones, it's the biggest watch week that we've ever seen. The full moon is at 33. It means come, come now. And the number in Strong's Greek for the word age is 33. And when you look up how long does a full moon last, it's right there, three days, as many as three days. December 25th, Christmas. December 26th, the full moon. December 27th, the full moon, three days. After two days, will he revive us? In the third day, he will raise us up and we shall live in his sight. In that day, the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments. 
about their feet and their calls and their round tires like the moon. And remember the truth, Jesus Christ. And when he comes, the signs will be in the sun and the moon and the stars. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, like a full moon. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament sheweth his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night sheweth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber. So keep your heads up, family, and keep smiling, and guard your heart, because Jesus Christ said, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. So expect him, because he will not tarry. His timing is perfect. So let your loins be girded about, and your lights burning. And ye yourselves like unto men that wait for their Lord when he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. Immediately.